Welcome to the second installment of Vibin' with the Bishop. Let us get started. If you got roaches, please stop volunteering to bring food to the church potluck and wonder why you take a whole pan of food home. To the praise and worship leaders who still listen to R&B music on the way to the church, quit that, because if I hear one more baby over the pulpit, to my altar workers, if you don't keep some Trident or Listerine strip pocket pack in your pocket, don't go to the altar laying on hand. And to the creepy deacons, the next time I see one of y'all lay y'all hand across the heart of a woman, I'm swinging on you. And to the praise team, if you come to church with the stamp on your hand from the club you was at last night, your services will not be needed this Sunday. And to the church mothers that be sagging their knee highs because they tuck in the front because it's a hole in the toe, go to Price Chopper and get you some holes. To my believers in weaves, wigs, and extensions, don't fall out in church if you haven't girded up your hairpiece. And to my female saints that have taken after your fathers, please trim, tweeze, wax, or pluck those stubbles on your chin before you start hugging for if you have candy in your pocket that has come out of the wrapper, stop offering it to the children. They tired of eating pocket lint and coin purse. And to the singers that can't sing all that good, we getting hip to your schemes. Every time you get to a part that you can't hit the high note, you start shouting. And if you invite your mama to church, please tell her to spread her shouts across the whole service and not just when you get the mic. We see it. And if you got bad knees or bad feet, you are no longer qualified to catch during altar call. We don't need to be picking up two of y'all. Next Sunday, we will be installing metal detectors at the front door so you gospel gangsters can no longer sneak your pocket knives in. Get out. And if you have an active restraining order, we need to keep that on file at the church. Because last Sunday's message got interrupted by 5-0 busting up in the sanctuary. And if you are unsure of your harmony note, please stop singing louder from the congregation than the praise team is in the microphone. Be sure. If the backs of your feet look like you work brick masonry, sling back shoes are not your friend. I'm just saying. For those saints to come to church hungry on communion Sunday and grab a handful of the crackers, we will be assessing a $3.95 charge to your membership due. And if you're still breastfeeding your seven-year-old baby, it just don't look right in the back corner of the church. Go home, please. And to the musicians that transpose, work out a system, because we tired of pausing after every modulation so you can hit the button. And them church hats from Edible Arrangements will no longer be welcome in the sanctuary because it obstructs the view of everybody behind you. Sorry. Okay, I'm done, but make sure you like, share, and comment, and let's help get the word around what the church should be doing during service.